Good day. It's, it's a beautiful Right, mark. stop the jingle. Can't be doing with it today. Oh, I'm too fucking fuming. So I heard there was a big speech being given today, imploring Britain to come together as one to reign in the property market. And I thought, as you would, ah, that comic Miliband's been carving out commandments in stone again, probably with his hammer and sickle. Imagine my surprise then when it turned out the speech was being delivered by Theresa May, of all people. I mean, what am I supposed to do with this, eh? Christ on a cruise missile, Teresa. This is the age of the internet. People can dial up an old front page in a heartbeat. They don't even have to move their fingers. They can just say, Oi, Siri, or Alexa, or whatever the fuckity bullbag Jones the c*** on their phone goes by. Alexa, they can say, How can I make Rupert Murdoch look like a chrome-plated c*** today? And Alexa would say, Here's a sun headline about Ed Miliband from 2015. Go forth and spread it around Twitter. A foie fucking la. You'll have the liberal lefty c*** flake echo chamber of your shitty little dreams. <sighs> let's just round up the papers, shall we? Let's round up the papers. Okay, let's start with those c*** at the Guardian. They're leading with something about Bradley Wiggins. Apparently he's a smackhead or something. I mean, I couldn't give a fridge full of fucks. I'm too bloody angry. Uh, our sister paper, the Daily Mail, is going with millions told to ration water. Burst pipes fiasco after big thaw. Ha, ha, ha. Have fun with that, c***s. Yeah, that's cheered me up a little bit. On to the Times. May tells Trump not to launch trade war. Tariffs risk devastating British steel industry. Will Trump listen? Will he shite? So grab a musket, we're going into battle. Uh, the Times front page is also carrying a story about Jamie Oliver slagging off fat c***s, which strikes somewhat as the pot calling the kettle a c Oh, wait, no, he's having a pop at fat pork. Well, that changes the parameters somewhat. So uh, try not to choke on your turkey twizzlers while you're reading about that one. <coughs> Pardon me. Oh, hang on, we've got a paywall on the Times, haven't we? Ah, don't worry, you won't be getting anywhere near it. Uh, the Independent is ranting about American pasties. Uh, I don't know if that's a new movie or something. Uh, the Metro's going with Teresa's speech. Oh, Teresa, you dozy dipstick. Just give me a moment to compose myself. Right, let's see what's in the sun. Read, Read the, the sun, sun cards. We are also dedicating our front page to Bradley Wiggins' smack habit, uh, but I couldn't give a fast and furious fuck about that. So let's see what else we got for you today. Uh, brave women take to the slopes for annual bikini race. Ooh. Some nice pictures accompanying that one. There you go, c***s. You can still have your smut, but now we have to give it the illusion of feminism because of lefty c***s. Thanks a lot. These brave women skiing in sexy swimwear. It's a modern-day suffragette movement, all right, but with less boring politics. Uh, what else? Olivia Atwood reveals why she split from Chris Hughes in Blazing Row. Never heard of either of those c***s. Uh, you've been storing your makeup all wrong, apparently. Probably because you're a c uh, For further details, read the sun. Ooh, this is good. Shocking moment. Woman uses baby as a weapon during street brawl. Ha <laughs> ha, great stuff. That has also cheered me up a little bit. All right, that's your lot. Tune in tomorrow for more good ache. But for now, get fucked.